diaper rash cream with disposables and cloth diapers is gonna look a little bit different. So today we're gonna be talking about cloth diapers and cloth diaper safe diaper rash creams. When you're using disposable diapers, that protective barrier can sometimes be left on the diaper, but that's not something that's typically worried about since you're tossing it away anyway. But if you're using cloth diapers, that protective barrier will leave staining on the diaper. And because of this, we need to take a little bit of a different approach when it comes to cloth diapers and diaper rash creams. In today's video, we're gonna discuss why you might need to use a diaper cream, why some diaper creams aren't cloth diaper safe, what ingredients to look for and what ingredients to avoid, some common brands that we recommend, and how to wash your cloth diapers after using diaper creams. Cloth diapers are typically more gentle on your baby's skin than a disposable diaper is, so because of this, you're less likely to experience diaper rashes. However, diaper rashes are still possible if you have a buildup on your diapers or if your baby's left in a diaper for too long. Having a good wash routine is very important to make sure that your diapers are able to fully absorb all of those liquids. If you have a buildup on your cloth diapers, it'll act as a barrier that will prevent liquids from being properly absorbed, and that's not good. This can cause leaks and skin irritation, so we want to avoid that as much as possible. The detergent that you have can also cause diaper rashes, depending if your baby has sensitive skin or not. If your baby has sensitive skin, then there are a lot of fragrance-free options that are available that also work really well for cloth diapers. So why do you need to look for a diaper rash cream that's cloth diaper safe? The whole purpose of a diaper rash cream is to create a barrier between your baby's skin and the diaper. If you're using a diaper rash cream that is not easily washed away and not cloth diaper safe, then that barrier might be left behind on the diaper. Not only will this cause staining, but it'll prevent your diaper's ability to absorb urine. Diaper rash creams that are cloth diaper safe are able to be washed away really easily. They also don't leave any staining or any residue left over. You don't necessarily need to look for a diaper rash cream that's specifically marketed for cloth diapers. We recommend that you look at the ingredients and avoiding these specific ingredients. The main ingredients that you want to avoid are petroleum, petroleum jelly, paraffin, cod liver oil, and calamine. If you're looking into a diaper rash cream and it has any of these ingredients, then it might not be cloth diaper safe. To help make things a little bit easier for you all, we've put together a list of some of our favorite diaper rash creams that are cloth diaper safe. First up, we have the Aleva Naturals Soothing Diaper Cream. This formula is a smooth, non-greasy formulation. Next up, we have the Aiden Anane Mum and Bum Soothing Ointment. This diaper rash cream does contain fragrance, so it might not be ideal if your baby has very sensitive skin. Angel Baby Bottom Balm. This balm is multi-purpose. It can be used for diaper rash, itchy bug bites, scrapes, rashes, and burns. Next up, we have California Baby. This one is great for light rash care. CJ's Butter Ointment and Stick. This product is really helpful when you're dealing with eczema and really dry skin. Grovia Magic Stick. This stick is used for minor rashes, and it's also used as a protective layer from wetness. Another option is the Honest Company Organic Healing Balm. This product includes beeswax, which is naturally anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and anti-allergenic. If you guys are interested in learning more about our favorite diaper rash creams, you can head to the blog section of our website called How To, and check out our blog posts on diaper creams and cloth diapers. Having a good wash routine is really important to make sure there's no residue or buildup left over on your diapers. Any residue or buildup that's left over on your diapers will affect their ability to absorb. And if you're dealing with any of these kind of issues, then sometimes they might need to be stripped or restored. Stripping and restoring your diapers is not something that's routinely done because it can be very harsh on your diapers. This is usually done to correct improper washing or if you have very severe staining. If you're using a cloth diaper safe diaper rash cream, then it should wash away with no problem and you shouldn't be dealing with this. When it comes to washing cloth diapers, every family has different resources. And because of this, everyone is gonna wash and dry their cloth diapers a little bit differently. A general guideline is to rinse off your diapers and then wash them. The way you go about rinsing off your diapers and your inserts is gonna differ from family to family. And it's also gonna differ depending on how your baby is fed. Before your baby begins eating solid food, a lot of families are able to successfully rinse off their diapers in the washing machine without knocking off the waste beforehand. This is because at that stage, their waste is water soluble. We recommend removing as much waste as possible before it goes in the washing machine, but ultimately that's up to you. Depending on the diaper and what your baby ate, you can knock off as much waste as possible before you rinse your diapers. Another option is investing in a toilet sprayer attachment. Removing the solid waste is really important, especially when your baby begins solid food, because at that point, their waste is not water soluble. It's really important to remove as much of the waste as possible before you add in any detergent. The reason for this is we want the detergent to focus on actually cleaning out the inserts and cleaning out the diapers. If you don't rinse everything off beforehand, 
then the detergent might focus on cleaning off that waste and not actually cleaning your diapers, and that will result in buildup. Any kind of buildup on your diapers is going to limit your diaper's ability to absorb liquids, and that's not good. A buildup of urine or waste can also cause rashes and skin irritation on your baby. So after you spray, knock off, or rinse off your diapers, then you can add in the detergent of your choice. If you're interested in learning more about our favorite detergents for cloth diapers, we have a whole dedicated blog post on our website that you can go ahead and check out. It's important to not add too much detergent because this can result in a detergent buildup if it's not properly rinsed out. Any sort of buildup is going to prevent your diapers and your inserts from absorbing to the best of their ability. Some families will run their diapers through an additional rinse cycle after their wash to ensure that there isn't any residue left over. With proper care and cloth diaper safe rash creams, then your diapers will be performing at their very best. We have a whole blog post on our website if you guys are interested in learning more about diaper rash creams and cloth diapers. You can head to our website using the link in the description box below and heading to the how to section. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out our free ebook. We created our free ebook to touch bases on everything cloth diapering. You can find this available to download for free on our website. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below.